Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial on the Robotics and Perception Teams YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to install OpenCV with CUDA support on your computer or on your JSON card. First of all, you need to know your CUDA and install it. Uh, for your JSON card, you probably do have CUDA 10.2 installed, unless otherwise. Uh, so that's what we will work on. On your computer, uh, to install CUDA 10.2, just type CUDA archive to the Google webpage and go to CUDA toolkit 10.2 download. Uh, choose the appropriate setup for you and install it. Uh, if you have Linux installed and alongside Windows, you may need to shut down and turn off Secure Boot from, from your BIOS. Now we can follow this document I prepared with all the command, commands and instructions. First of all, we need to reinstall the prerequisites. All you have to do is copy the lines one by one and paste them into the terminal. Just like so. For me, I have already installed them, so no need to redo that all. Now we need to download the actual library. It will take some time depending on your internet connection. I have it already downloaded, as you can see. Now this is a zip file, we need to unzip it. Go inside the file, make a build file to compile inside and go to it. Now in this step, we need to know what is the compute capabilities of your GPU. For that, you need to go to this website, for our official NVIDIA's website, so you can know what's the compute capability of your GPU. All you have to do is choose your GPU type, uh, here you are for the normal laptop and computer uh, PC GPUs, here for JSON products. Note, for Xavier NX, the correct compute capability is 7.2, although not, not listed on the website. For me, mine is 965M, it's 5.2. So, all I have to do is copy the command, paste it, and change the CUDA arc bin to the compute capability of my card. So 5.2. It will create the build file. We will need to give it a moment. done okay configuration done build files have been written to the folder which means it was uh, generated successfully now we need to look at a couple of things nvidia cuda uh this tells us if the compilation that we will do will include the coda libraries here yes and it has the cuda version 10.2 that i have also, the GPU arc or the compute capabilities of my GPU, uh, these are important. And other settings, for example, Aiken library and so on, for the compilation. Now, we need to compile the library itself. Uh, this will depend on the speed of your GPU, uh, your CPU, sorry, and the number of cores you have. Uh, now, first of all, we need to know how many cores of CPU you have. 
you just type this command in prog mp roc here i have eight you may have six you may have 18. uh now you write this command make dash j and whatever the number that comes out for me it's eight and now it will compile uh this may take a while depending on your cpu especially if you are on a jetson uh, but if your CPU is fast to go quickly, so be right back when it's done Now this is the step where you may face problems with the compilation How you do you know you see error at the end All you have to is recall the same command and now you see here's the error dlink nvcu vid.h no such file or directory um, this problem occurs on both my laptop and my uh, Xavier NX so I have the problem for it inside the documentation since I follow it when I install OpenCV as well so all we have to do is uh, redo step 3 but this time with this command instead uh, again, CUDA arc bin is 5.2 Regenerate the files, this time it won't take as much time uh, Again, CUDA yes, 10.2, arc is 52 and again make the j whatever your uh, number of cores for me it's eight and wait see you in a while finally after compiling for a long time it's ready to be installed all we have is to copy the installation command paste it give you a password and it will take a while again but it will install so be right back in a moment okay finally it's installed uh, it will not give you up to date it will give you uh, installing but because I had it already so it only gave me up to date the files are up to date in the user local directory um, congratulations, now you have a install, a compiled and installed a CUDA enabled OpenCV 3.4.1 Now you can use it to install other libraries that need uh, use CUDA